Um, it comes a, a tender moment in the story when the two main characters, the two friends, um, face despair. Yes. And uh, my character turns to Steve's character and says, this is a, a piece of advice which comes tenderly okay. from the heart. Right, OK, when you're ready. Get over it! Get over it The only person being punished by your principal position is you Get over it Get over it And you'll find yourself supplied with a pile of better things to do I wasn't always the macho hunk of sheer beefcake you see before you now At school I was a little fat kid he was a weekly hell And so I threw myself into books And sneered at those who played games I set myself above them Resolved that I would hate it forever But then in 1996 I realised what I'd missed I denied myself the fun of sport The excitement, the drama And so in short I got over it, got over it Gaz's goal against the Scottish made my snobby supposition subside I got over it, and now I'm over it Gary Linick is my guru, Stuart Pierce opened up my mind I used to say I didn't like curry, I thought it was disgusting and weird. Then found out it wasn't supposed to have sweet corn banana sultanas in it, that's just how my mum made it. Taxis, restaurant, Jaffa cakes, dishwashers and the Smiths were things I expressed disdain for when the truth of the matter was this. I might have claimed high principles, but at the end of the day, I wasn't being moral or ethical, I was just afraid. So I got over it, got over it, and decided that denying the delight of life is frankly daft. I got over it, and now I'm over it. I don't let the future be deflected by the crap that's happened in the past. In the words of Sir Ludwig Gutmann, the founder of the Paralympic Games, this sitting around feeling sorry for yourself is no good. Cut it out. Or to put it another way. Get over it. Get over it The only person being punished by your principal position is you Get over it Get over it And you'll find yourself supplied with a pile of better things to do Get over it